Hi, my name's Simon Catesby, and recently I've been talking to MacFun, the developers of Snapheel, and I've decided to create a series of videos which will compare Snapheel to Photoshop. So let's start by looking at Snapheel and Photoshop and see how they both deal with removing unwanted objects from photos. In Photoshop, we come down here and we select the Spot Healing Brush tool. All we then need to do is simply paint over the objects we want to remove, release our button, and the objects magically disappear. And we can do the same here with the second object we want to remove. If Photoshop doesn't get it perfect the first time, all we need to do is reapply the brush. So now let's attack the same problem with Snap Heal. We go into the Array section and we pick the brush. This time when we paint over it leaves a red mask and the objects don't immediately vanish. Once we're satisfied, we come over here and pick one of the erase modes. We'll pick Shapeshift in this instance. We click, and again the objects vanish. We can also remove larger objects. Let's get rid of this guy in the foreground. So dropping back into Photoshop, in this instance I'm going to pick the lasso tool, and I'm simply going to draw around the guy, leaving what are called marching ants to show our selection. When I've completed, I simply hold down Control and Erase and it brings up the Content Aware Fill, or Erase if you prefer, and we click OK. And the man has been removed. Now in this instance you'll see Photoshop hasn't done a perfect job, we've actually duplicated that rock there in the foreground. That's not a big problem, we simply go back and do some more healing until we're satisfied with the result. If I want to see the before and after, all I have to do is come up here into history and select back to the initial state of the photo and then with Command Z I can toggle between the before and after versions of the photo. So jumping back into Snap Heal, I'm going to select the lasso tool and draw around the man and once again we see the marching ants appear. It applies the mask and I go in and once again hit shapeshift and the man is magically removed. In this instance, we probably don't need to do a further touch-up on the photo. It's done rather a good job. All I now need to do to compare the images is hold down my mouse button over the eye symbol here. As I hold it down, the pre-edited image appears. As I release, I get what I've done showing up. Alternately, I can click on this symbol here and I get a side-by-side -side comparison of the two images. As you can see, both programs do an excellent job. Although in this case we might go back into the Photoshop version and tidy up that rock. However, Snapheel is significantly easier to use with a far easier learning curve. And remember, Snapheel comes in at about $20 on the Mac App Store, as opposed to about $800 for Photoshop CS6.